After the parade, this 36-year-old railway worker told us seeing Kim Jong-un in person for the first time gave her butterflies. And she added she felt safe seeing the massive show of force. I'm an American. What do you think about that? I didn't know you were an American, she giggled. You're not as evil as what I've read about in books. Yes, he is the best one in the world. The best leader in the world. Yeah. It is the most powerful country in the world. What should America know about your leader? Comrade Kim is the best in the world, she says, and a peacemaker. After more than two decades in the North Korean military, he escaped from the country last year. He's speaking to us because he wants people to know the truth about life under Kim Jong-un. What we see on the television pictures from Pyongyang is Kim Jong-un, this young leader being applauded, a million people giving him a standing ovation. Is that real? For all of the very public displays of devotion, he says the reality is a brutal dictator who executes his own people. Under Kim Jong-un, he says, people are more afraid. And what of these images, the hysterical soldiers, the apparent hero worship? Carefully choreographed, he told us, everyone understands the consequences of getting it wrong.